We're joined by Keenan Stain this morning to chat about his card of runners at Hollywood Bats Durbanville on Tuesday, the 8th of October. Keenan, thank you so much for your time. You Busy card of rides for you on Tuesday, starting with race one, the 1250 maiden plate for fillies and mares. You're on breakfast run for the Mike Stewart Yard. Four starts at two and had a little bit of a rest since July. What can you tell us about her? I've, I've ridden her a few times. I've ridden her, I think, her first and second run, or first and third. Um, she's, she's a huge, huge filly so she's just kind of taken time um, to grow into herself and, and learn how to use her action and use herself um, in the correct way. I think she's obviously still going to need it obviously coming back from a race now and with her being big action not the best of draws doing well going to be tricky for her but we're hoping that she can improve. Then race two 1250 maiden plate you're on the rather exciting looking Thomas Jenkins for the Ricky main guard string obviously a debut run here um, but you said he's quite a nice colt. Yeah he um Buffer Bull, Buffer Bull Cody uh, Colt uh, so we assume he's going to go a bit of trip gives me a nice feel still got loads to learn still a big baby um, which is nice in a way you know he's going to come on um, but yeah we, we haven't got the best draws at all so he's going to have to go for a nice education but um, we're expecting a decent run for him then race three 1250 open maiden for fillies and mares you're on Daisy Duke for Lunga Gila also another one that you have ridden a couple of times looks like an improving sort yeah, definitely. Uh, her penultimate start, I rode her. She, um, she got hampered very badly, bumped in about 200, 150, um, and she only got beat a couple of lengths, um, which I thought she would have been in the mix if she didn't get the, the bump. Her, her last run was also a very good run. I think she was fourth, so she just needs to obviously overcome the draw and follow her past form, and I think she'll be in the mix. Then race four, the 1250 Open Maiden. You're on Global Rock for the Paddy Korea Yard. Another lightly raced um, horse. You've ridden two of the four starts. And um, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's gone over 1,000 and then 14. And then just trying the 1250 here. Yeah, he's been so unlucky, this horse. When I rode him the second run, um, he made up decent form. He made up ground and he gave me a good feel. And then after that, we just, the he was drawn in the sticks, we tried to drop him out, it was wet, he got kicked up and he just didn't enjoy it. And his last run as well, you know. Um, I assume that the baby, uh, the horses were battling to work at Mullerton. Um, Durban were also a tricky course and he just never got a true reflection of what I feel he's capable of. So I'm hoping with, with things have changed at, at home with working now at the moment, he's got blinkers on, he's giving me a much better feel, he's concentrating more. Um, we're hoping for a much improved race. And then race five, 1600 meter open maiden for fillies and mares. You're on Daimondia for the Peter Wrench yard. She didn't get the best of the draws, unfortunately. And um, yeah, just going out over the mile. Yeah, I haven't been blessed with the best of draws on the day, but um, yeah, she's dropping trip. She's, I think she's changed trainers. Um, also, I think just a learning curve, go out there and see what we, what we can improve and what we can um, learn from her and see how we can just get her to improve in, in each run. But yeah, definitely a learning curve and we going out there trying our best. Put a bit of mileage on the clock. Yeah, 100%. Um, then race seven, the 1800 meter class five. You're on Lord Nelson for the Pet Berta Yard. You did get a bit of a luck of the draw here. So, so two draw and um, merit rating coming down. And so trying trying the 1800 here with this one. Yeah, luckily I've got a draw with him because we're going 18 now. Um, I must admit at home, he doesn't feel like he's a distant horse, but he's, his form shows it, especially in PE, that he does want a bit of a trip. Um, so at least with the two draw, he can pop out. Um, get an easy lead and, and it's a true reflection of what distance he really wants. So um, yeah, I think this will be the decide on the learning curve for him as well, but we, we hope he can run a good race. And then closing off the day in race 10, the 1000 meter class four, you're on swift action, also for Pitt Buerta. And again, got a nice pole position draw here. One over this course and distance at the end of August. Um, slightly wider draw last time out, but yeah, nice, as I said, nice draw here. Yeah, and I would say last time he didn't, he didn't um, disappoint. He had a, a very wide draw to overcome and, and get, get into the mix of, of the front couple. Um, He's definitely a horse that, that's always inconsistent. He's always consistent. He's never he's never lacking off. We always thought that Dermot wasn't his best course to run at, but he's definitely proven us wrong. So I think with the one draw, he'll have less work to do, and, and uh, it will be an easier task for him to to run in the first couple. <laughs>